welcome back in this video we want to look at some set methods if you want to remove item from a set we can use the pop method that we have seen in other data types but here it returns or removes any random element from the set so if you run this right now true has been removed okay if you run it again a different item will be removed so that is how the pop method works if you use the remove method that you have to pass in an element so if you pass in let's say b here and then we run this we are getting none because the remove method does not return an item or any element so as you have seen before we have to put it up here and then print my set here and then if we print this now we can see that b has been removed we can also use the clear method to remove all the items in a set okay so if we run this all the items have been removed we can also use the discard method for that you have to pass in an element all right it works like the remove method but there are some differences and if you pass in let's say e here and then we print my set we can see that e has been removed from my set also we can add items to a set that makes set mutable so if you try to add let's say false to my set right now let's see how we do that my set dot add then we pass in false here so if we print my set now we will see that false has been added to it so if you run it you can see that false has been added we can also use the update method to add an item to a set but the update method takes an iterable okay so if you try to use a number here and we print my set we will get an error because int object is not iterable so you have to pass in either another set let's say set a or something that is iterable like lists strings and tuples all right so we can see that my set has been updated with another set we can also pass in a string here let's say john and then if we print this you see that the characters in john have been updated or added to my set so let's end here and then in the next video we will look at more set methods bye bye